Hey YouTube, do do terms and conditions. This video is now age restricted to 18 or older. If you are not 18, please exit the video. Thank you. Hello everybody and welcome back to York River Cannabis. In today's video I'm going to be covering a whole host of things. But first before we get into it, if you wouldn't mind, hit that subscribe button if you're new here to the channel. And if you've already subscribed, give this video a big thumbs up to show your support. I really would appreciate it. So, what did you guys think of that opening? That's what I'm going to talk about first. New logo drop, obviously, and we're taking preliminary action against the new YouTube terms and conditions. We want to make sure that we're compliant and that we don't find ourselves deleted one day. So, what did you guys think of that opening? Leave some comments in, uh, down below and let me know what you think about the logo and if you would like me to adjust that opening a little bit, if it was too long, let me know. Uh, I would really appreciate it. Also, of course, happy Turkey Day, guys. I really hope you all had a great Thanksgiving here in the United States. And if you're across the pond or whatever, I'm sorry you guys don't have this awesome holiday. It is by far my favorite, guys. Um, but, of course, the day after Thanksgiving is the biggest retail day of the year here in the United States. And, of course, we're going to participate. So here's how it's going to work. We have our new retail line on our website, yorkriver.weebly.com. And how it works is you will get 20% off with the code word York River. Just send that in the email. And again, we only accept PayPal via email and we only accept cash by mail on that website. But here's the deal. We are now on a new website and I will leave that website in the description below. Go ahead and check it out, rbalternatives.com. Same code word for 20% off, but you can purchase small amounts of flour on there. So go ahead and check that out. I would appreciate it, guys. The support for the farm would be greatly appreciated. And of course, you get an awesome product. So that's what we're doing. And of course, our joint venture with Craft Buds, we have that promo code, same thing, York River, 15% off on their website. So I will leave their website link in the description below if you'd like to try their products. We've been using them all summer and we absolutely love them. So now that we're over with that, let's talk about what we did here on the farm. And as you can see behind me, all the plastic mulch is gone. So this week what I did was I removed all the plastic mulch to expose the ground. As you can see, the lines for the irrigation are still there. I'm going to kind of walk you through the two different colors of mulch, how the ground responded to that. So the totally different um, areas and totally different amount of growth underneath them. So it's kind of interesting to see how those two colors uh, change the ground underneath. So I'm going to walk you through the grow area and show you that. I have been focusing on the greenhouse plants quite a bit after that hard freeze early in November where we had these ridiculously cold temperatures for that time of year. Plants are looking good. They're starting to really rebound, looking great. Greenhouse is doing fantastic. And we learned our lesson the hard way. Don't water before it gets cold. And you might want to just keep it a little bit above uh, freezing in there because it got into the low 20s and the plants did not like that too much. But they're still alive. So... The theory is they can survive cold. Yes, they can. They still can survive it, but they may not look very pretty. So I'm going to take you around the farm. I'm going to show you all that, and we'll get right into it. All right, so here is the uh, old grow area. So as you can see, this was the cherry wine row, and this was the bioxide sweet end. Some more cherry wine, and then we had cherry blossom, and where you see hopper, it was kind of like all the spare plants that we had. It was just a hodgepodge of different varieties and strains. So I want to show you guys this. So look at that growth, right? All low clover, uh, some growth underneath, but nothing crazy. Same thing with this one, right? Very low clover, you know? So all the white strips had uh, clover, you know? Kind of like small amounts of growth underneath them, nothing crazy. But I want to show you this. So the, the mixed one at the back here had black, and look at the difference. So it had like this very stringy grass underneath it. Where this has clover, this has like very stringy grass. And I thought that was really interesting that the two colors totally affected the ground. Now, where the black mulch was and it was walked on by me, there was absolutely nothing. It's barren and it's very compacted. So this is going to be uh, a tough job for our cultivator. ATV, you know, it's definitely going to um, be a problem probably you know to get that ripped up and softened back up but that's part of walking around you know but it looks like an absolute dirt path like just totally paved and i thought that was really interesting um and then of course here we have as you can see our irrigation lines 
uh, they run they run right along here and this one had a, a, a dual so we had two irrigation lines and this was where the biggest plants were so I'm wondering if that extra nutrients may uh, affected those plants now these plants were also the first in the ground so you know you have to play that um, whether the nutrients affected it whether the double irrigation line affected it but I will say this what I do know about the two irrigation lines versus the one and I found this after I laid it out underneath was a lot of times when you do the two you get better root growth because the roots don't form to one side so that's just a tip for that let's head over to the greenhouse show you those plants they are looking way better than they did a couple weeks ago so let's get into this greenhouse here it is warm one today here in Virginia I bet you it's close to 70 degrees in here lights are doing their job and as you can see guys look at all this beautiful new growth plants are looking great and I just watered them last night uh, as you can see all the new growth these guys are doing the toughest this is cherry wine 002 that's the pheno uh, but you can still see they're alive there's green growth on them uh, even that one is still alive they're all alive and uh, these seem to be doing the best this is biox so everybody looks really really happy they're definitely rebounding so yeah they looked pretty terrible and of course they didn't do really well with that cold but they're rebounding and this light is really helping them out too so i'm excited about this spider farm light it works really really well and uh, it actually even puts off a little bit of heat which kind of helps the plants too so day like today though it is warm in here and they are loving life so that's it i'll show you the drying area real quick before we close out the video so here's the drying area guys of course everything has uh, been status quo in here biomass is still drying uh, those branches I've been doing some stuff with our trim bag as you can see over there but nothing crazy guys because nothing's moving and uh, I can't put any effort into this stuff it's all being stored really well but you know I can't be making stuff for for nobody so as soon as stuff starts moving I'll, I think you'll see more movement in the drying shed everything's well taken care of back here everything looks great I check on it every day um, but yeah, so this is the drying area, and of course I will clean it up eventually. I will get the trim bag going and look for another video on that. Well guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, of course, you know, I will say if you guys uh, want to support the farm, today's the day. You're going to get all kinds of discounts, um, and they will end Saturday at midnight. So go ahead and check those out. Don't forget that code word is York River. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, Leave a comment below. I really do appreciate the comments, and I always enjoy reading them. Um, so I do appreciate it. And, of course, guys, don't forget, we have our website, www.yorkriver.weebly.com. We are on Facebook and Instagram, and we are doing a soft launch of our Patreon page, which is how you can support the farm, get behind-the-scenes stuff, behind-the-scenes exclusive posts, and all kinds of stuff. But I'm really not going to launch that until the first of the year. But if you'd like to participate on that, go ahead and check out our new Patreon page, and I will leave that link in the description below. And I would appreciate any support given to the farm as we go through this really tough time. And uh, look forward to seeing you in another video. Take care, everybody.